How is a disco record made? The illusion that most of us have is that a large group of talented musicians and singers gathers in a studio to record a song. It doesn't quite work that way. In this session, the bass drum and other percussion have already been recorded. So have the strings, believe it or not, of the New York Philharmonic. That was all done on other occasions. Now, a young musician introduces a guitar, listening on earphones to what's been recorded. <laughs> Add the piano. This is Peter Brown's record as composer, musician, and singer. This is for the TK Record Company, one of the biggest disco outfits. Seven and one half million dollars in gross disco sales a year. And here's how Peter directed the number called Dance With Me. You got it. He adds a track for the Moog synthesizer. Now watch Betty Wright do her first part. And the second part. And the third. Three for one. Now the lead singer, Peter, with Pat Hurley. Get on your feet. background vocals. The technique is called multi-track overdubbing. It is not new. What's new is that most all pop records now are made this way. But that's only the first step. 